How you doing? Boogie right. man band coming round the band is boogie man band. Is boogie man band. Greetings, my fellow fiends, and thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, today it was a very special day for me. Uh, being a fan of this actor, being Eddie Murphy, and this franchise, being Beverly Hills Cop, I thought that it was unlikely that we would ever see this character um, on film again. Uh, the last film came out nearly 30 years ago. It opened uh, May of uh, 1994 when I was 20 years old. And it was a film that I saw many times in the movie theater. I think I saw it eight times in the movie theater. Beverly Hills Cop 3 is not the greatest. It is a much more muted performance by Eddie Murphy, who um, from all the things that I've read was not happy. Um, at the time was playing Axel much differently than he had in the first two films. Um, but uh, I still enjoy the film and I still enjoy revisiting it. Um, but those first two films, Beverly Hills Cop and Beverly Hills Cop 2, um, they, are they are sacred to me. And um, they came out um, in very pivotal times in my life. Uh, first one I saw, I was 10 years old. And was just, I remember going to see it with my mom and her friend Louise and my, my friend Tori and just being so in awe of Eddie Murphy and so shocked at all of the foul language that was in it. Uh, I was very young, very impressionable and uh, just thought the movie was amazing. And uh, still, to, still to this day, nearly 40 years after its release, um, I still feel the exact same way. Beverly Hills Cop 2 came out just as I was turning, uh, just as I was becoming a teenager. I was 13 when that movie opened. And again, a very, uh, just seeing it on the big screen uh, was an amazing experience. And the iconic uh, Detroit Lions jacket that Eddie Murphy wore, I wanted one so badly. And I uh, just loved everything about that film. The, the more gritty look by director Tony Scott that was complete, you know, opposite of how Martin Bress had directed the original. Um, the action was a lot more hardcore. And, uh, you know, just seeing all the characters come back from the original film was just amazing. Um, you know, I'd have to wait seven years for Cop 3 to come out. And then we would have to wait 30 years for Beverly Hills Cop 4 um, being called uh, Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. It was originally the working title was Axel Foley. Um, but the trailer dropped today and I'm sure people have seen it, but I will drop it right here. I almost admire you. Still on these streets. Running and cutting. I'm just amazed. Doesn't get to you. Watch your ass out there, okay? I'm gonna be fine. They love me in Beverly Hills. Detective Foley, you ever read your own file? Shootouts, storm the peace, a lot. Please tell me you didn't get arrested again. Twice, but I broke out. I'm going, going back, back to we put our lives on the line. Every day. And for what? comes with the job if you're doing it right. Yeah, babe! Axel. 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 So how many people have you pissed off so far? I haven't pissed off anybody. Yeah, 50-50. 50-50. Is it that high? So far. Yeah. Wow. I'm going, going back, back to The official synopsis for the new film uh, reads, as his daughter's life is threatened, she, Taylor Page, and Foley team up with a new partner, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and old pals Billy Rosewood, Judge Reinhold, and John Taggart, John Ashton, to turn up the heat and uncover a conspiracy. The film also stars uh, Paul Reiser, Bronson Pinchot, and Kevin Bacon, Mark Malloy, directed the Beverly Hills Cop sequel from a screenplay by Will Beal and Tom, Tom Gormican and Kevin Eaton. I've watched it like 12 times. It's only under, it's under a minute and a half. I'm so mad we could have wait another six months or however. I know it's opening in the summer. Um, it is going to be a Netflix film. I wish it was going to theaters. But again, I feel like um, just watching this first trailer that they're playing on the same conventions that made Maverick so successful, the Top Gun sequel. Whereas Axel Foley appears to be the same he's the same guy just in a different you know time you know it's like you know with maverick maverick was still maverick but he was older was still the core of the same character and i feel like that's the route they're going with axel foley and i think that's going to be great yeah i didn't think this fourth film was going to ever happen um it's just really 
surreal to me, especially given the fact that pretty much every main character, with the exception of Ronnie Cox um, and uh, Gil Hill, who passed away in 2016, who played Inspector Todd, but his character was killed in part three. But with the exception of those two actors, pretty much everybody else is coming back. I guess Lisa, Lisa Albacher is not coming back, but you know, you have Bronson Pinchot, Paul Reiser. Um, the big ones for me, though, are Judge Reinhold and John Ashton as Taggart and Rosewood. Um, I never thought I would see the three of those guys together. And at the conclusion of that trailer, to see them all together again, uh, it was emotional. Also great that Kevin Bacon's going to be in it. And uh, I think Mark Malloy, who it's his first movie. But so far, I just love it. Um, I love the way the trailer looks. Again, it's a very quick trailer, under a minute and a half. But... I had so much fun watching it. This character, this franchise means just as much to me as some of these other franchises I talk about, horror franchises like Friday the 13th and Saw and Halloween. Um, Beverly Hills Cop is a stable for me and uh, it was very important to me growing up. Uh, I love Eddie Murphy. I've, I've been a fan of him since I was 10 years old and um, I can't wait to see uh, Axel Foley back and I can't wait to see this movie because I feel like this is going to be it. I doubt we're going to get a part five. So I feel like um, they're going to put everything into this. And the fact that Eddie Murphy held out for a great script, um, didn't want to go out on part three. He wanted it to be the right script. And the fact that they got all the core members back, um, it just, I, I'm so excited and uh, I'm having a hard time talking about it. That's how excited I am. So just wanted to share that with everyone. Again, there's going to be some Beverly Hills Cop content in 2024. It's the movie I'm most excited about. Um, I can't wait to see it. Um, I really hope that, uh, you know, others are excited about it like I am because it just, um, it really means so much to me and the fact that I didn't think this was going to happen. I talked about this franchise a couple of times in the past. Um, May of 2015, they actually pulled... Uh, Beverly Hills Cop 4 from the uh, 2016 uh, slate at Paramount and at that point I thought the movie was dead I thought it was gone it wasn't going to happen and that they would reboot it with a different actor but it looks like Beverly Hills Cop 4 has been pulled from Paramount's uh, release date of March the 25th of 2016 which put, a, put it right up against uh, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice and it just I think that as much as it pains me to say this because I always wanted to see Eddie play this character again, I don't think it's going to happen. I think what Paramount's going to do is they're going to go the Ghostbusters route and probably reboot it now Now that he's, you know, that this movie's not coming out. And I'm so grateful that that didn't happen, that we are going to see Eddie Murphy play this character one more time. And uh, I think it looks to be kick-ass and I'm so excited. And I'm curious if everybody else that has seen the trailer is a fan of this franchise is excited about this new film. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Would love to hear from everyone. And thanks so much again for stopping by the Horror Zone channel. I hope everyone's doing well. I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Hey, my fellow Fright Fiends, I just want to thank everyone for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you haven't yet subscribed and you'd like to, please hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I try to drop a video at least once or twice a week. Uh, the Horror Zone is a passion of mine, and it really makes me happy that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always.